So the former U.S. President Barack Obama is among 500 key American figures who Russia has now banned from entering the country. In addition to politicians, the list also includes uh, military officials, businessmen and uh, so-called Russophobic experts and analysts. Uh, the move is said to come in response to Washington's sanctions against Moscow and in particular efforts to prevent Russian journalists attending the UN Security Council meetings in New York. Well, Russia's also launched criminal proceedings against judges at the International Criminal Court in The Hague after the body issued an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin. And the president's accused of illegally deporting children from Ukraine. And Russia's investigative committee says the court's proceedings against Putin are unlawful as there are no grounds for criminal liability. And Russia is also no longer a signatory of the International Criminal Court after withdrawing back in 2016. Well, let's learn more now. Thomas Roper, an author and war correspondent, joining us live here on RT International. Thomas, great to have you on the program. Thanks so much for jumping on with us here at RT International. Just uh, off the top of your head, what, what are your thoughts here for, for what the ICC is uh, essentially leveling uh, against uh, the Russian president? Your thoughts? Well, um, this is only political question. The thing is, uh, you have to, for example, check uh, who financed concretely uh, the uh, work on so-called evidence against uh, war crimes of Russia, uh, this was a EU program. This is this is EU money, um, and it's said there that they are only researching war crimes from Russia, not from Ukraine. So this is a political thing with it, which is ordered and paid by the EU. You can see this in the official documents of the EU Commission of the Court. Um, so the result was no surprise, um, and uh, this discredited this this court. Because, well, either you are justice or you are politic. You have to decide. Uh, so, Thomas, are you, are you actually saying, I mean, at the end of the day, you, you think this is just politically motivated? It is. You can see who, who ordered it. It's paid, and you see what they announced in the press releases when, when uh, they uh, announced last year that they are paying this uh, examination, these researches. So mm. you can see that. And um, regarding all this stuff, the, the child uh, story of deported ch children, this is um, this story came from the U.S., uh, financed by a project of the uh, State Department. And uh, so this is also a surprise. And when you read their report, there are no evidences in the report at all, nothing. Uh, they are just uh, saying we had some interviews, but we don't know with whom. We didn't see anything. They described some Russian places where the deported children should be, but we haven't been there. We said, didn't send anybody here. So some of them even don't know what is in these buildings where they have been. I have friends who have visited them, and yeah, it's yeah. something different. So it's politics. Yeah, you know, I was just going to say, Thomas, if you tried saying this on CNN or Fox News, they'd cut off your microphone and say this interview is over. Let's not have him on again. Thomas, let me, let me ask a quick question, if I may. Moscow, meantime, has banned entry to the country for 500 American anti-Russian public figures, including Barack Obama. What's your take on that? Um, well, this is logical. Whether they will uh, really suffer from that is another question, but I think it's a good step. Um, I, I, I just see, I have just seen this, this list and didn't, didn't check it yet, out yet, whether there are people who are active in Russia. Um, but it's, it's a fair reaction. What the U.S. is doing by denying visa for not only for journalists, but also for diplomats from, from Russia who are sent to the U.N. Um, all this stuff regarding, um, mobbing the, the Russian embassy in Washington and so on, uh, Russia has to react. So. I just, I just remember, Thomas, back when uh, George W. Bush Jr. was uh, the U.S. president, back during those years of the invasion and occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan and, and, and so on and so forth. And I remember, I remember Bush Jr. saying, hey, you know, we're not a member of the ICC. We don't really care what the ICC thinks. So just, you know, to, to hell with the ICC. And I, I remember, in effect, that's what George W. Bush Jr. Uh, was saying. How should other people take the ICC seriously if you're saying there are political motivations going on behind the scenes here? And America, for example, a former presidential administration, just saying, ah, it's not even worth the, the, the weight of the paper it's written on. Well, um, first of all, it's a political organization. You, you see it by financing. You can look who are um, all the judges, where they're from, what is their past, so you see who they are. So this is not not a surprise, just there are not so many judges. Check it out. Um, another point is, I, I remember uh, that the ICC was uh, researching on Afghan why, no, war crimes of U.S. in, in Afghanistan, and um, then the U.S. put the judges or the um, prosecutors under sanctions. So if the West is now uh, like uh, um, rumbling that Russia is doing that, well, the U.S. did it themselves. Mm. <laughs> so, so 
you know, it's a political question. It's you, not about I mean, objective. 